Hey agents, it's Manny. With the release of Title Update 15, we got a new way to upgrade weapons, gear, and skills. It's called the Expertise System. In this video, I'm gonna cover the three different ways to earn proficiency XP to level everything. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so there are only three ways to earn uh, proficiency XP to level your gear. The first way we'll talk about uh, real quick is by donation. So we come into here, we select uh, the piece we want to donate, and you can either you can donate selected piece, click X, confirm, and our XP went up. You only need to donate 20 weapons or name pieces to be proficient in them, but you need to donate 100 brand and gear pieces to reach proficiency with them. You cannot donate skills or anything like that for the mods, so you're on your own there as far as donating uh, resources. The other way is to donate materials. You can actually see how much you're gonna uh, get. You basically get 8,800 for this. So you can select any one of the materials like uh, receiver components, fabric, um, steel. You know, you can just hit and then donate resources and it went up. There's no confirmation box, it just levels it. So you can see it keeps going up 8,800 every single time. The last way is by wearing gear, skills, whatever else, and actually killing enemies. All right, guys, so now, how do we do that? How, where do we get gear from? Um, where do we get our resources from? And things like that. So obviously, killing enemies, we understand how that works. I'll get into a little bit more of that later on. But for now, let's talk about the first one, which is how do we get gear? All right, so there's a couple different ways to get gear. The best way, and when I, and the other thing I want to clarify is that when I talk about how, how to get gear, this is referencing, and when I say the best ways, is referencing your shade level. Because I'm speaking about everything doing doing with scavenging resource, uh, resources, right? So how what can we get the most bang for our buck when we do this stuff? And that's why I say the best. So now the best is buying gear from vendors, right? So we gonna use, we're going to use our resources to actually get e-creds, all right? So then we're going to go up to the vendor. We're simply going to uh, find one that I don't have proficient yet, and we're going to buy the items, right? That's all we're going to do. You can make a nice macro to actually do this for you quickly, right? So that's the first way. Now, remember, there are uh, six different vendors. In DC alone, there are five vendors. You have two in the uh, White House. You have the clan vendor, the regular vendor I'm at right now. You have at the campus a regular vendor. The settlement has, uh, the theater, I should say, has a vendor. And you have uh, Cassie Mendoza, all right? You have to find her, so find the snitch, and the snitch will tell you where she is. She's open right now for me for another seven hours, so I'll have to make sure I go buy up all her stuff that I'm not proficient in yet. This is by far the most proficient way. Uh, and also, don't forget, in New York City, we do have Haven, which also has a vendor. Make sure you check Haven out as well. The reason I say this is the most proficient way is because you use the least amount of scavenger resources. You So, for example, you get 10,000 e-creds for one resource. And eat any. there's only things like percussion maintenance, percussive maintenance, which is a named item. There are 15,000. The named item is a little more expensive, but... You only need 20, 20 of these to max out the proficiency in it. I'm not going to get into that all today, but if you look, everything else is under 10K. Some of these things, even handguns, are almost half. So you get a lot of bang for your buck as far as that goes. You only use one shade, rounded up one shade per piece, even though it's actually better than that. The next place to get uh, items is actually crafting it. But there is a caveat to this. It is not worthwhile crafting any of the gear. All right? And I'll tell you why. Because to craft a piece of gear, you actually need the specific protection materials of that gear. So Overlord armaments, you need actually five of those. So in order to get those, the only way to get these is by breaking down Overlord armament pieces. And if you have those pieces, you're better off just donating them instead of breaking them down to craft. It doesn't make sense. It's not really worth it. So for uh, any gear, don't bother uh, with crafting. However, it is very useful to craft weapons. So you come in here. The only issue is you can't, which would be nice if you could see actually what you're proficient in. You have to go and check your... Um, Go check your bench, see what you need to work on, and then pick that piece. So I know I need I need to actually FAMASs, so if I craft those, I make sure I have enough materials, a little low in carbon fibers, I have plenty of receiver components, and what you want to do is hold X. As soon as it finishes, hit escape real quickly. We don't need to actually see the other screen, and you just make as many as you need. Now weapons, you only need to craft 20 of them, and then once we go into our inventory, we can actually... Mark them all as junk. We're going to run over to our expertise and we're going to donate all junk boom and now we have 
level out prof uh, proficiency in um where is it famas so we're level seven right now all right the reason i say crafting uh weapons is very useful is because you need one of two types of common material steel or polycarbonate you need 36 of them you need an uncommon um, material, carbon fiber or titanium. You need 26 of those. Receiver components, you need 60. And credits, you need 979. Now the creds, the steel, and the carbon fiber, you can get from your uh, scavenger points. However, the receiver components can only be uh, gotten from breaking down weapons. So let me show you that really quick, how we do that. What we're going to do is actually purchase some pistols. Pistols are the cheapest thing. Make sure you have credits. And if we buy a pistol, and we dismantle it. You see, we get 23 receiver components. Now, I, people tell me sometimes it bugs out on them and they get double that, so they'll get 46. So when you're looking at that, you're talking about three pistols purchased, right? So that's about two shade. Um, you need to get the 10,000, you need 20,000 E creds, right? Because that's 56, 44 times three, and that will give you enough to hit the 60 and you'll end up with what 69 you'll end up with 69 receiver components all right now bear with me as i go through the whole math of this so we're going to go over uh how to actually go from zero proficiency all the way up to uh 10 proficiency and be completely proficient in a weapon using just crafting so you're going to need common components you need 36 times 20 because you have to make 20 of these to uh, do it which equals 720 you're going to divide it by 50 because you get 50 common components every shade um, that you donate that equals 14.4 we're going to round that up to 15. now uncommon you're going to uh, need 20 you need 26 times 20 which is 520 divide that by 25 because that's the number of common uncommon components you get for one shade level equals 20.8 round up to 21. now receiver components you need 60 so we're going to multiply that by 20, gives you 1,200. Now, we have to divide that by 23. And what 23 is, it's the number of receiver components you get from dismantling pistols. All right, we'll go over that in a minute, but just know that that's how many receiver components you get from dismantling a weapon. That equals 53. Multiply that by 5,644 credits, which is what a pistol costs. And that equals 2,999,132. And you divide that by 10,000 creds, which is what you get with one shade level, and that'll get you 29.9 or rounded up to 30 uh, shade levels. Now you also need credits. You need 979 credits times 20 equals 19,580. Divide that by 10,000 gets you 1.9, rounded up to two. So now if we get a total, we get 15 plus 21 plus 30 plus two equals 68 shade for a full proficiency on a weapon. So it'll cost you 68 shade levels, scavenger resource points, to get a weapon from zero to full proficiency. That's actually not bad, and we'll show you why that's actually uh, more bang for your buck. It does take longer to do all this, but we'll go over that afterwards. All right, so the last way of getting weapons is actually uh, grinding missions, open world, and stuff like that. But I'll tell you right now, at this moment in time, Countdown is your best uh, source of getting weapons. And the reason for that is so many weapons drop and there is a targeted loot system for this. All right, so to select your targeted loot, you can do it while you're in Countdown, but I suggest doing it before you get there. Hit your map, scroll over to about where the summit is and right below there, you'll find Countdown. Now, if on PC, I'm not sure what is on controller, hold the H key down and you'll get your title loot selection. This is the, basically the same thing as, um, I believe it's the same one as Summit. So you just choose which one you want. Do you want SMGs? Do you want shotguns? Do you want wyvern wear? And so on. So just select the targeted loot you want and uh, go from there. Now, the second way we talked about actually uh, getting XP and expertise is by donating, re donating resources. So if we look at our Baker's Dozen, it's only rank four. And we can donate materials down here and hit V. Now, there's several different uh, basic materials, common materials, uncommon, and rare. Now, the basic materials are receiver components and fabric. These are going to be your worst things to donate. The reason I say that these are the worst is because they're so expensive to do donate. Remember, everything is based off a of shade. I break everything down to shade level. What is the least amount of shade level is to actually donate and create these materials. So receiver components, we have to actually buy weapons and break them down in order to get them. Same thing with protective fabrics. you got to buy uh, gear and break it down. So on average, to do get 400 pieces of uh, protective fabric or receiver components, it's going to cost you 11 shade. Uh, uncommon materials, real quickly, easily to do this one, you get 50 per um, shade level. So to get 200, it's going to cost you four shade. Uncommon, you need 150. It It's 25 per. That means 25 divided by 150 is six shade. 
printer filaments. You get 10 printer filaments for every shade level. So that means to get 30, you only need three shade level. Printer filaments are your best bet right now. Now this could change in the future, but this is the one you want. Uh, printer filaments are the one you want to do. Do not even bother with any of those. If you have extra materials and you just don't care about it, go ahead. But if you're going to use your shade and your scavenger point, uh, printer filaments is where it's at. Now, each one of these gives 8,800 uh, XP. And that's the same amount as uh, donating like a gear piece. Weapon Donating weapons, though, or named items gives you 44,000. But these will give you 8,800. You can see right here, 8,800. So it's about a tenth of this progress. Uh, I don't have enough right now, but that's what you want to do. You want to donate these. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this. The fastest way is to just go into your watch and your uh, scavenging things and actually just purchase uh, claim printer filaments. That's the fastest way. Not the most optimal way, but it is the fastest way. So if you have a ton of shade and you don't really care, go ahead and just do it this way. But there is a uh, more optimal way to do that. And that is instead of buying printer filaments, you actually use e-creds and you buy mods. So mods, is every vendor sells a couple of mods and you can find the cheapest one. This one's 4517. That means with one shade level, I get 10,000 e-creds and that means I can actually buy two mods plus have some money left over. Now, once we break this mod down, you'll see we actually get six printer filaments. You always get six printer filaments for uh, every mod you break down. Let's do, a, let's do some quick math. So to uh, max out a the proficiency on a weapon or gear using resources, you will need to donate 100 times, all right? So let's take 100 times 30 filaments, because that's how many you need per donation. That gives you 3,000 filaments total, all right? Now we'll divide that by six filaments per mod. That makes it 500 mods. So you have to buy 500 mods at 4,517 credits, which equals 2,256,500 credits. Divide that by 10,000, which is how many credits you get per shade. And that'll equal 225.85, round it up to 226 shade. Um, you'll need to maximize a piece of gear using uh, this method. As you can see, there's a lot of steps in that. You have to buy five different mods. You only have 150 spaces in your backpack in the first place. You have to break them all down. So there's a lot to do that. Now, like I said, there is a quicker method. And that is by just straight uh, using your shade to get uh, printer filaments. So if we look at 100 donations times 30 filaments equals 3,000. Divide, you get 10, sh uh, 10 filaments per shade. That equals 300 um, shade levels it'll cost you. So you're looking at 226 versus 300. You make the decision on what you think is quicker. Is it your time or is it your shade levels? The third and final way of getting uh, proficient XP is by wearing gear, weapons, equipping skills, and killing and by killing enemies. Completing things like open world events or missions do not reward XP for the proficiency. So keep in mind, you actually have to kill enemies. And it's broken down based on the type of enemy. Red bars, veterans, and elites. And here are the actual base amounts of XP you get for each thing. For weapons, you get 352 XP for the main primary weapon you're holding. And you get 176 if you have the same weapon in your secondary slot. You One piece of gear gets 220 for red. Skills and equip get 220. And then purples get 422 for main weapon. 211, basically half for the secondary weapon if it's identical. And one piece of gear is 264, and skills are 264. Four uh, elites yellows get 528 or 264 for secondary uh, if they're both equipped. One piece of gear is 330, and skills equipped are 330. Now, I also want to give my boy Enan a shout out because I know he always gets mad at me. Um, I got the stuff from his Discord server. Um, I did not get these numbers myself. I did verify the numbers are correct. I'm not sure where he got them from, but I want to give my shout out to Enan because he always bugs me when I don't give him a shout out. So there you go, Enan. So here's an example if you have two M1As, one in your primary, one in your secondary. So the one that's actually out and held, you get 352 for that, plus 176 for the one in your secondary slot that is on your back. That means you get 528 XP for killing a red enemy uh, with that for your uh, classic M1A towards your XP proficiency. So also wearing multiple sets of the same piece of gear also grants more XP. So there is... Um, you get a bonus XP, and this is applied to each kill based on the number of set items equipped. This bonus XP also varies depending on the class of enemy killed. And red bars give you a bonus of 40, veterans 48, uh, elites and names give you 60. All right, here is your equation for figuring out how much XP to get based on the number of pieces you have. So you basically have your base XP. That's added to your bonus XP times your uh, number of set pieces minus one. Then you take that whole number and multiply it by your number of set pieces. 
Now we'll do an example so you guys see how it works out. Right, let's take an example of killing elite with three pieces of any brand or gear set. So uh, base XP for killing an elite is 330. Your bonus XP is 60, so you just fill the numbers in, and we have three three pieces, right? So first we're gonna do three minus one, you get two, multiply by 60 is 120. Add that to 330, and then to multiply that together by three, and you get 1350 for killing an elite for that brand set. So that's all the bonuses, and that's what you'll get per killing elites with three pieces on. Now keep in mind, additional XP rewards won't apply to name gear pieces, skills, and exotics since you can't equip multiple pieces of them. I believe that covers all the ways to earn XP towards proficiencies. And I know we went pretty deep, and I think it's important to know what goes into what when you're making decisions on your course of action. Now it's up to you to decide how you want to level them. If you want to just quickly level everything, my suggestion is to first buy all the items you can from the vendors, then craft uh, weapons if you have over 1,500 shade levels, and finally, start donating printer filaments. Once you use all your uh, scavenger resources on uh, your alt, delete it and create a new one to level to 40. Rinse and repeat. So I do have a video on how to quickly level an, an alt from 30 to 40. I'll put a link to that in the description below and also a uh, link in the top right-hand corner there. If you are under 1,500, then still buy all the vendor items, but then start grinding countdown for drops to donate. Check the vendors on a weekly reset and continue to grind countdown. If you have very high shade level, say like over 8K, then buy vendor items and then start donating printer filaments. Use up uh, your uh, alt scavenger points and then get another alt to 40. Of course, if you are in no hurry, then you can choose how you want to level everything. In the end, it's your personal choice. I just want to give you all the information so you can make an educated decision. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave any comments if you have any questions or if you think I missed anything, I'll do my best to answer them. If I see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button and you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Till next time, agents, happy hunting.